two-minute drill. If Alabama wins the national championship tonight, here's two big reasons why. Reason number one, Damian Harris, Bo Scarborough, Jalen Hurts, everybody who runs the ball for Alabama, doing so and running it very well on first down. Alabama has a hard time in third and long. Now I've told you before that in Alabama's last two losses prior to the Sugar Bowl, that was Clemson last year in the title game and then Auburn this year on the road, Bama was five of 26 on third down in those two losses. Of those five conversions on third down in those two losses, they were all runs. Jalen Hurts never completed a pass that converted on third down. Then you look up in the Sugar Bowl and they were good. They were eight of 17 on third down. So in their losses, the common theme has been teams have gotten them in third and long. Now, if you look at Alabama's last three games this year against Clemson in the win the other night in the Sugar Bowl, you know, a, a low offensive total, they were 0 for 4 on third and long, third and nine yards or more. Against Auburn in the loss, they were 0 for 1. And even in a tough win at Mississippi State this year, at the end of the year, they were 1 of 4 on third and long. So that means this Alabama team against their last three FBS opponents are one of nine third and long. Alabama better stay out of third and long means they have to run the ball on first down. Number two reason Alabama will win the number one rushing defense in the country. So look at the last three FBS opponents of the year for Alabama in that number one rushing defense. They go to Mississippi State in November, gave up 172 yards and three touchdowns on the ground. Goes to Auburn, gave up 168 yards on the ground and one touchdown to carry on Johnson and Auburn in a loss. But then they flipped the script back to their identity against Clemson in the Sugar Bowl, only allowed 64 yards to Clemson, a team that averaged 190 a game coming into that Sugar Bowl, didn't allow a rushing touchdown. So that number one rush defense, they have to repeat what they did against Clemson, against this great running back tandem at Georgia, if Alabama wants to win the game. 